How do stars meet their end? Stars, like all things, have a life cycle, and their lives eventually come to an end. The way a star dies is a dramatic event determined primarily by its initial mass, leading to a variety of spectacular and sometimes terrifying finals. The fuel runs out, let's talk about the beginning of the end. Stars shine by fusing hydrogen into helium in their cores. Over billions of years, they exhaust this fuel. What happens next depends on how much mass the star has. Now, let's consider stars like our sun. When they run out of hydrogen, their cores contract and heat up, causing the outer layers to expand into a red giant. Eventually, these outer layers drift away, forming a beautiful planetary nebula, leaving behind a dense, cooling core called a white dwarf. This white dwarf will slowly fade away over trillions of years, becoming a cold, dark ember. It's time for the dramatic depths. Stars much more massive than our sun undergo a more violent end. After burning through hydrogen, they fuse heavier elements in their cores. When they reach iron, fusion can no longer release energy, and the core collapses catastrophically in a fraction of a second. This triggers a powerful supernova explosion, one of the most energetic events in the universe, briefly outshining entire galaxies. The remnants of giants, neutron stars let's consider what's left after a massive star's supernova. If the collapsing core has a mass between roughly one and three times that of our sun, it will likely form an incredibly dense neutron star a city-sized object composed almost entirely of neutrons. These can spin rapidly and emit beams of radiation as pulses. The ultimate collapse, black holes. Now for the most terrifying fate. If the core of the dying massive star is more than about three times the mass of our sun, the gravitational collapse will be so overwhelming that nothing can stop it. The core will continue to shrink into an infinitely dense point called a singularity, forming a black hole, a region of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. So, stars die in various ways depending on their mass, ranging from the gentle fading of sun-like stars to the spectacular supernova explosions of massive stars that leave behind exotic remnants. Like neutron stars and black holes, the death of a star is a fundamental part of the universe's ongoing cycle of creation and destruction.